Hey folks, what's up? This is Vivs from SlideNerd. In this video, I'm gonna jump into Eclipse, get my hands dirty. But before that, I wanna show you guys what I'm gonna do exactly in this video. So what I have is I have the edit text, the button, the horizontal linear layout. There is this block which contains sine, cosine, right? And this block which contains the other buttons in log root stuff. And then you have this block which has all your other buttons, which is seven, eight, nine, and stuff, right? Now these three blocks are horizontally one near each other so that means they are inside this horizontal linear layout right the pink one is vertical remember that i'll we'll get to that discussion later why the pink one is vertical but for now you guys need to remember this and then ultimately you have this red block inside which all the other two blocks are contained the other two blocks means the green block and this brown block they are one below each other so that means the red has to be vertical in nature in this bit we are going to only make this structure inside our eclipse so let's get our hands dirty and get this plane up so here in eclipse i have nothing great there is just this slight cal project over here and here if you see there is nothing inside the user interface so let me actually minimize this part over here if i go to the xml file there is just this linear layout which says a uh, width of match parent and height of match parent from this white screen that you see over here i'm gonna actually build this complete calculator so you guys excited to see this let me know so first step what we are gonna do is gonna go ahead we are right now having this linear layout now which linear layout is this this is actually this big red colored rectangle that you guys see over here on the diagram right so what we need to do is it has a vertical orientation if you guys remember this green box and this other blue box are one below each other that means this is vertical in nature so let's give it an orientation of vertical first all right so now let's give this a background color of red just to know that where it is on the screen i'm gonna say android background rgb so that is done if you go to the graphical layout now the complete screen is blood red okay that that looks bad i, I know that but don't worry we'll build the block slide next what we have is we have this green colored linear layout which is horizontal in nature it is inside the red colored box and it has this edit text and this button so let's go and make that first i'm going to give this an id call this red box well actually there is another red box here somewhere inside our diagram so i'm going to call this red box one just to know that this is our uh, big one so i'll call this main red box that should be the best name right main red box that so that we know this which box we're talking about it's the main big red box right so here i'm gonna go ahead and make another linear layout over here i'm gonna simply call drag in the graphical layout it's in the layout section over here if i say linear layout it should be horizontal right so i'm gonna go ahead drag this inside let's go and see the code here okay there's the match parent width and height of wrap content that's exactly what we need right and then i'm gonna give this an id i'll call this a uh, big green box right this is our big green box inside which we have our edit text and our button so let's go and put those controls here by going to the graphical layout i'm gonna take edit text here in the text fields and then i'm gonna have my button over here right so now at least again screwed up we'll have to drag the button manually and put it inside this linear layout right below the edit text i'm gonna remove this request focus statement over here Control shift f to format stuff okay the id uh, we don't need an id right now we're going to remove the ids over here we don't need the ids for buttons it's going to increase the number of lines for the android text actually this is using a image over here if you see i don't have this image so i'm going to simply say x over here just to clear stuff ems we don't need that i'm going to remove the ems attribute so let's go and see how this looks in the graphical layout okay there's our edit text completely and there's our button all right that's good wrap content wrap content for the layout width and height right now we need to give this linear layout that is our big green box a color right so i'm going to give this a green color just like you guys expected background over here rgb right so it's s0 f0 i believe go to the graphical layout okay there you go that's looking good in fact that looks shitty i know that but well for now it looks good so now let's go ahead and make the other block which is this blue colored big rectangle that you see on the diagram on the right side right now this blue is actually a horizontal linear layout as you guys can see this orange block this orange block and this black box are one near each other that makes this blue one horizontal in nature so let's go and make that over here i'm gonna simply go to the graphical layout i'm gonna drag another linear layout here compose it it's sorry it's in the layout section over here linear layout it's horizontal in nature i'm gonna drag that so here again we have the width of match parent and height of wrap content we call this the blue box in fact we should call it the big blue box so i'll call it id and or id at the rate and i'll give this a background color of blue just so you guys can see that background is hash 00f i believe yep well actually you're seeing it good so this and this they are one below each other right and now they need to take all the remaining screen space 
Now, if you guys remember the presentation, let me go to the presentation for a second and show you the relative widths of them. All right, so the green box, that is our big green box, takes three for the proportion in terms of height, and this takes seven. That is the brown or the green box or blue box or whatever you call it, the big box takes seven. All right, so let's go and do that in Eclipse. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give this green one a layout width of three, sorry, a layout weight of three, and this blue one a layout weight of seven. So that's gonna make things look proportional. So let's go and do that. For this one, I'm gonna say layout weight as three. That is our green box. And the big blue box shall have a layout weight of seven. Now remember something, this blue box, that is our big blue box and our big green box, they are one below each other inside a vertical linear layout, right? So when you're giving layout weight, you're talking about the layout weight in terms of vertical dimensions, all right? So that means the height should be redundant. And so we are gonna give this height of zero DP for each. Now, if you guys have seen my previous videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But otherwise, you can go ahead, you should go and check my previous videos out. I've explained this in detail. Here's a simple rule just for you guys to remember. In a horizontal linear layout, inside it, when you have elements like button, text view wall, and you give a layout weight, the width calculation is redundant, so give zero DP. Inside a vertical linear layout, when you have children, that is text view, edit text and stuff, and you give a layout weight, give the android height as zero dp because the height calculation becomes redundant so now you guys have understood what i'm trying to say over here so let's go and see how this looks in the graphical layout okay that's great one two blocks are made right so upcoming in the further video i'm gonna go ahead take this orange block take the black box and gonna construct the remaining structure so i hope you guys have understood something out of this video if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next bit. Have a nice day.